Hey you two, this is Southern Prepper One. I want to talk about water. I think water is the most important thing preppers need to think about, and really anyone, a homestead or any American. Uh, water is probably the number one thing that you need to figure out and have multiple sources of your water. If you live in an urban area or suburbs, it's going to be harder for you. You might have to store more water, but you still need to have a resupply. This was our first water source we really developed on the property. Um, this was about 20 years ago. I tore down the little well house, it was basically just a dog house, and inside it was a small pump. It was all set in one piece. It was a pressure tank, a pressure switch, and a pump. And it was connected to this to service our tiny house. This right here is just the top. A top of a fan, exhaust fan. It was on a kitchen, a school kitchen, and they replaced the whole fan. And that was the actual top part of it that I salvaged, and it works perfect. I was able to salvage this concrete. Um, this concrete was sitting around for a long time before I got it, which I like that. The more it sits, the more it gets weathered, I think the better it is um, for health reasons, leaching stuff in. But this was absolutely free. Um, you can see why it was broken and they couldn't use it. I, would, I need to fix that because I don't want anything crawling in. Uh, so far it has not gonna cause any problems. This is approximately, probably three feet across. It's probably five foot tall, and there's probably less than three feet of water in here. This has never dried up. Uh, we've gone through some bad droughts over 20 years in the south, has never dried. Probably the hardest thing is drilling through them. So that line went over to here, and there was a small pump, and then it ran all the way up the hill, probably 250, 300 feet to our tiny house. And we used this for years and it worked great. Um, it's good to super chlorinate this thing. Uh, it's also probably you need a, some type of water filter in the sense of a Dalton whole house filter. That way as the water comes up into the house, it goes through a filter similar to like a Berkey and then it goes to your faucet. So it's clean water and safe for your family. Most of these springs that I'd rather develop are ones that were on a hill that way I can develop it and let the water go downhill into a storage tank and then pump from here this because it's flat it will not work that way so this is why I had to do this the excess water from this and it's produ it produces a lot of water um, I have another uh, piece of culvert right there and I might actually put a piece in here or there just for another source of water just to collect it because there's a lot of water coming from this spring this probably cost me five hundred dollars for the pump for everything now a lot of material I salvaged and that cut the cost down but this is an excellent system um, now I probably wouldn't use this I have some other systems but if I had to I could come down here scoop the water out take it up and throw it through a Berkey. At one point I also had a hand pump right there, but I took it out. Uh, thinking strongly about putting the hand pump on, uh, just for nostalgic, I just like it, old fashioned. My ultimate goal for this is to take my six inch block and build about a seven foot tall concrete building around here, very small, and use it as a, a refrigerator. So it'd be my grid down, worst case refrigeration. If you need to, I can do it right now as I take a milk crate and I can adjust the rope on the milk crate, hook it to that, throw it in, and it keeps things very cold. Not as good as a refrigerator, but just about. And in a grid down situation, this would be vital for me to keep things I need cold. So, you might have a spring on your property. If you got an area, and all I had was it looked like that, and actually it wasn't as bad as that. It was just water at one spot. When I developed it, it, I think the water came more to the surface, all the runoff water. So if you've got a spot that looks like that, look for any type of growth that you think are swampy because it grows in here really nice and that will tell you. So this is probably your option if you've got flat ground. Do something like this. This one is solid rock on the bottom and there's just one single hole where the water comes actually out of the ground. 
uh, when you pump it out it'll actually three four five inches squirt up if you can keep the water pumped out so look on your property something you can develop I'm gonna do more I'm gonna put this under its own little category under water uh, I'm gonna try to find my older videos and throw them in there and I'm gonna do some no more new ones um, just to emphasize get a water plan you never know when that grid goes down or that water system where you get your your water from the city goes down what are you gonna do thanks for watching